If you're not familiar with Hema, it's a Dutch retailer that's kind of like Target with an IKEA cafeteria. It's embarrassing to say, but we've never eaten anything from Hema before. And we wanted to see what all the excitement was about. What better way to quickly bring us up to speed than eating all three meals today at either Hema or using key ingredients from Hema? Is this a bad idea? Maybe. Stick around and find out. Hema is a beloved Dutch-based retail store that carries a wide variety of items from clothes to food. You can find at least one Hema in most cities and even some train stations. Their pink frosted tompoos is iconic along with their customized cakes for parties and rookwurst. But let's get down to the task at hand. Today we're eating all of our meals at Hema or with key elements that are sold at Hema. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, and anything in between. Good morning. We are here bright and early because we want to get the Hema breakfast. Now, when we walked up, there were actually a lot of options. So I think that they have like a breakfast deal that goes on between like nine and 11. The breakfast deal is three euros for a croissant and coffee, four euros for pancakes and coffee, and five euros for a croissant, cheese sandwich, egg, and coffee. It's really quick. You just walk up and you grab what you want. And I was expecting a little bit more of like a pastry selection. And they did have like a few pastries, like cinnamon rolls. But the thing that I was quite surprised about is they have all of their dessert items out. So you can come here and you can get like the slog room cake. You can get like a cupcake looking thing. You can get apple tart at nine o'clock in the morning, which, you know. Or you can get Tom Poos. You can get Tom Poos. I got the pancakes and some jam and the coffee and all of this together was only four euros. I think I should just put some of the jam on it. Yes. Okay. Well, there's no syrup. Yeah. I have a feeling it's going to be like the grocery store pancakes, which were good. They are like 20% better than Jan's pancakes that you buy in the store, but they're very similar to that. I think the big difference is that you can add this jam to them and it's just like it's like tangy and sweet um you can add the jam to them at home though yeah i love how you're like but no beyond the pancakes jam. you cannot add jam to them no you're not allowed you're to. not allowed to you'll get arrested if you do they are cold pancakes so there's a microwave over there. that yeah there's a microwave so i could go microwave my pancakes if i wanted to i wonder are you supposed to microwave your pancakes let yeah. us know in the comments. Yeah, let us know in the comments below. Should I microwave these in real time? All right, I decided to be a little bit more adventurous and I got the five euro deal, which is a uh, coffee, this cheese sandwich with arugula, croissant, and I think it's a hard boiled egg. I oh, hope it's a hard boiled egg. <laughs> it is a hard boiled egg. So this is a pretty, I mean, for five euros, this is like a Pretty good meal. Tell me before you eat it. Are you gonna bite? I'm eating it. it. You're gonna bite straight into it. Mmm. It's hard boiled egg. Right, let's try this cheese sandwich with the arugula. Mmm. There's mayonnaise on it. <laughs> oh really? Wait, turn it towards me. Yeah. It's it's a uh, young cheese, mayonnaise, and arugula. And crusty bread. And then the croissant you're supposed to pair with this hard by strawberry fruit spread. You sure you're not supposed to put that on the egg? <laughs> it's a good croissant. Is, I mean, the jam's good too, but. Is it comparable to a grocery store croissant, like at Yumbo? No, it's better than a grocery store croissant. Like 100%. Crispy, flaky. It's a good croissant. This is actually like a a pretty fulfilling breakfast for five euros, not to mention it comes with coffee. And um it'll be nice to wrap it all up with this little little Tom Poos. Alright. We're gonna wrap this up, we're gonna eat this. Actually, you know what? We'll eat this and we'll come back to. Let us know how we feel. You're out of focus. Can you say that one more time? It was a pretty good breakfast. I'm really looking forward to lunch. So we're gonna go walk this off and we'll see you back here in a couple hours. Michelle can figure out how to use the microwave. Yeah, I couldn't figure out how to use the microwave. I think you're supposed to warm the pancakes up, and I should have asked, but, you know. Look. 
How much Chocomel do we have to drink to get that bike? Chocomel, sponsor us. We're back for lunch. The lunch selection was kind of off the chain. There are a lot of different options. So there's like the warm option, pre-made sandwiches. You could even get like pasta and hot soup, which was also very interesting and a ton of desserts. So the big reveal. And smoothies. Yeah, and smoothies. And like milkshakes and puddings and... The big reveal. I got the vegetarian sausage roll. Look at this little sauce. And this Hema vitamin water, which is pineapple and passion fruit. All right, I guess we just bite right into it, huh? <laughs> the vegetarian sausage has a really good flavor. Very like salty and savory. And if you can't tell, it's very flaky. Alex really wants me to try the mustard. So let's put the mustard on it. The mustard really brings it all together. Don't get this without the mustard. It's excellent. Mm, it's refreshing. Nice passion fruit flavor. Yeah, it's good. I wanted to get something different, although I did really want to get just the sausage roll. It just felt like I should try and add a little variety to the mix. So I went for a hot sandwich, which you order at the counter, and it took like two minutes for them to make it. It was basically, it's a, it's a ham sandwich with a lot of mayonnaise. Like, do you see all that mayonnaise? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first off, it's really f***ing good. It's just a ham sandwich with a ton of super, super tangy mayonnaise. There's not a single vegetable on this thing. I don't really know how to describe it. It's like a salty ham with some really tangy mayonnaise. It's just a ton of mayonnaise. It's good though. I mean, <laughs> it's very good. I'm washing mine down with a um, acai and black currant vitamin drink. Ooh, good choice. Oh, it's really not that sweet. It is refreshing. Thanks, Hema. <laughs> We're not done yet, though. We got desserty things. First up, banana orange smoothie. Is it really that good? <laughs> yeah. It tastes a lot more fresh than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. I kind of... I think they no, made it. Yeah, exactly. No offense. They have banana smoothies in uh, bottles over in the refrigerated section, and I kind of thought maybe they just opened it up and put it in here. But no, I, I think they're making this in the back. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. interesting. I'll take mm -hmm. a little bit more of that. We're finally getting it. The famous Hema Tompus. Now, I think I'm going to go with a different uh, eating technique than I did for my Tompus on King's Day. I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go in the bottom. One bite and one bite. <laughs> I don't think that's one of the the, re the ways that people eat it. I'm gonna make it happen. All right. Wow, this is actually really different than the Tom Poos we had on King's Day. The um, filling here is like whipped. It's a lot fluffier. And I, the Tom Poos that we had on King's Day was almost like a pudding consistency. The inside is really, really light. And there's like, it's like flakier. And the top like sugary portion is a lot thinner too. So it's not as like crazy sweet as before. This is really good. everything that we need for dinner so we'll see you back at our place we couldn't leave without getting a little snack so i got the hot dog with honey mustard and i got the nod dog 
with honey mustard. You'll You're see just it soon. Very bouncy when you jiggle. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's a good hot dog. I kind of thought this might be the sauce that you had on your sandwich earlier. But you don't think it but is? But when you look at it, it's a little too yellow. Oh, yeah, that's definitely not what it was. It's really good honey mustard, though. This is not a flattering angle, but we have our hands full with all the stuff we just bought at Hema, and I'm going to eat this. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, like peppers in it. Damn. This is more than just like a fake meat hot dog. This is actually really good. The hot dog goes in this thing. You can buy these actually at the Hema as like a kit. So you basically just insert the hot dog into the, the tube. That's innovation. And it's it's almost like a baguette type, you know? It's like a baguette kind of bread. It's very different than I think mm. what we as Americans are used to with a hot dog bun, don't you think? Mm-hmm. This is an awful angle. It's a good hot dog. Got that Hema logo in there. All right. Now we'll see you at home. <laughs> Hello. We're home. And it's time for dinner. But first, I think we should set the mood a little bit. I agree. Let me do it. You don't snap very well. Okay. That's better. Welcome to Shea Buncharted, where we're going to have a delicious evening of... Hema food. Let's uh, get into this non-alcoholic wine-like drink. Grape-based fizzy drink with ginger. You have to say exactly. Lively pleasure with no alcohol. Mm -hmm. They also had an elderflower one. Elderflower and mint. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Our first course is a trio of salted licorice balls from Hema. <laughs> We figured we would try them. Everyone tells us we needed to try the salted licorice, and we sort of did it in one of our videos, the Duolingo Challenge video. But we saw them and figured, what better way to cleanse our palate? No, no, no. It's, it's not to cleanse your palate. It's to prep your palate. No, it's to enrage your palate. <laughs> oh, there's a suck on candy. It's a hard candy. It's not that bad. I'm not really super enthusiastic about a hard candy right now, but it's really not that bad. Well. Okay, so first up, as a little appetizer, we thought we would try the Filet American, which is uh, a beef carpaccio. We got the one that came with onions. And this is Ramona's pick, one of our viewers. So, what's up, Ramona? So, although this isn't necessarily a dinner, we wanted to try it, and we couldn't eat it at the store. Yeah. It'd be weird if we did. Can you and imagine? <laughs> If we just like opened it up and started we, like, like bought the bread it into our and then we bought the mix and we went to the cafeteria and made it, it probably wouldn't be the only one. And then we paired it with, is that what you're gonna say? Yes. We paired it with some balsamic chips. Also which from is Hema. Very interesting. Yeah, everything on this plate. Is I think from balsamic Hema. is gonna go really well with this too, because yeah. when we got the beef carpaccio at Euromast, it was drizzled with balsamic. It was, yes. I so. think there'll be uh, some good flavors. Maybe we could actually end up putting the chips on the sandwich. I you thought know? you were gonna slice this. Mmm. This is good. This is very good. Mm -hmm. The I don't think I would like it without the onion pieces in it. Mm, it'd be like very plain mm -hmm. without the onion, but I also saw um, some pictures where like, not only do you put egg on it, but maybe I saw some like arugula, mm. some green stuff. So I think like, even if you don't have the onion on it, there's some other options. Like Parmesan cheese was another one, truffle mayo. Let's try the chips and then let's try putting the chips on the sandwich. Yeah. Oh. Oh. It's still not as tangy as I would like, but it has a very good flavor. I oh, think this yeah. is going to be really good. <laughs> what do you think, sashimi? All right, I'm just going to do one layer of chips. Yeah. Nothing crazy. No. You want to? Yeah. Is that okay? Pat it down. Well, I mean, I want some of it. Well, yeah. <laughs> I 
I can't taste the chip. Mm. Mm. This is the most demanded, actually most popular in our recent HEMA poll and most demanded thing I think that we should try in the Netherlands, which is Stampot with HEMA's famous Rookwurst. It smells so good. It and it smelled so good delicious. even when we got it out of the bag and it yeah. wasn't cooked. Well, like as soon as you open that little container in the store, you just get that smoky flavor or smell. And I was just like, mm. smoky flavor. Yeah. You taste it. I bit right <laughs> into it. Is that that's how you're supposed to do it, right? And it looks like you've got two different kinds of sausages here. Yes. So we got the classic Rookwurst. And then we also got the vegetarian one. So we wanted to see uh, the difference between the two. Fun fact, the vegetarian one comes in an air sealed bag. That way you can cook them together and you're still good. The uh, vegetarian Rookwurst condom. Yeah. We also made Stamp Pot correctly this time, but we did have to use spinach because kale is out of season. Yeah. You wanna start with the regular one? Yeah. Mmm. That skin snaps. It keeps snapping. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mmm. It's good. Like, it's got the snap and the skin. You get the smoky flavor. and It is smoky. Unlike when we made it with the Spam, it's not that salty. Mm -mm. Yeah. There's no snap. Yeah, the skin has no snap. I kind of figured that because it was vacuum sealed in a vacuum sealed bag. I feel that like it might... Uh... There's no smoky flavor. There's this something. This isn't bad. It feels just kind of like um, uneventful mm -hmm. compared to the, the real one. I mean, it's a great option if you're vegetarian mm -hmm. and you want to eat Stamp Pot. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's still really good. Mm -hmm. Well, tell me what you've prepared for our pre-dessert course. Yes, this is the pre-dessert course. And here I have a lovely mild black tea that is not from Hema. Also, the cup is not from Hema. Wow. And on top of it is the strope waffle from Hema, which... Is the premium strope waffle. Yes. At least from what we could tell. Yes. Excited to try this. Two and a half strope waffles. Here we have the Hema apple tart. And I will say, going into the bakery, they had a lot of delicious looking desserts. They had a lot of stuff that looked really good, but we had to get the apple tart just because, I mean, it's it's a staple mm -hmm. of Dutch cuisine. Yeah. I have to use a spoon because we ran out of forks. Yeah, we don't have a lot of silverware in pots <laughs> and pans, as you can tell. Yum. It's okay. I like Yumbo's better, and I definitely like Dudox better, which, you know, that's not a fair comparison. I actually think it's remarkably similar to the Yumbo. Really? Yeah. I feel like it's mushy. <clears throat> it's mushy like the Yumbo one is. Yeah, I wish there was a little bit more, like, structure to the bottom crust, but the flavor is really good. It's very cinnamony. There are, there are raisins in it. Hmm. We did it. We ate every meal today at Hema. What was your favorite thing that you ate today? Oof. Um, my favorite thing was definitely the Rookwurst. It's just such a unique experience going into a store that sells raincoats and soap dishes and pulling a sausage out of a container and going home and Cooking putting it. it in hot water and eating it and having it be really delicious. That's true. My favorite thing was also the rough worst, but for the sake of giving something else, mm -hmm. um, I like really like the Tom Poos. Oh yeah. It was really good. And it was just something that I can see myself stopping into a Hema, getting a cup of coffee, getting a piece of the Tom Poos and just having as like a nice snack in the afternoon. If you like this video and you want to see us try more unique menus in the Netherlands, give the video a thumbs up. As always, thank Thanks you for, for watching. watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.